Good evening. It's late, but uh, due to work schedule and family obligations, I haven't been putting out a lot of videos. <clears throat> and uh, I have my exam where I am planning to schedule my exam for November, which is in our state. We do the first Thursday of the month, <clears throat> which today is the 6th of October, so that gives me less than a month or uh, approximately a month to prepare, give, or two, give a day or two. So let's jump right into the review. This is Fuel Oil Systems. 7-1, 7-1, Chapter 7, and EPA regulations specify leak detection and monitoring requirements for fuel oil tanks to ensure there is no ground or water contamination. <clears throat> Soot blowers are mainly found on water tube boilers. Soot blowers are mainly found on water tube boilers. With an air atomizing fuel oil burner, the mixture of air and fuel oil passes through a register that causes it to spin into the combustion chamber. With an air atomizing fuel oil burner, the mixture of air and fuel oil passes through the register that causes it to spin in the, into the combustion chamber. A safety valve is installed aft, a safety relief, sorry, let me start again. A safety relief valve is installed after a fuel oil heater to protect against excessive fuel oil pressure makes sense. A safety relief valve is installed after a fuel oil heater to protect against excessive fuel oil pressure. Cathodic, cathodic protection of underground storage tanks uses the flow of electrical current to protect against corrosion. Cathodic protection of underground storage tanks use the flow of electrical current to protect against corrosion. I'm assuming cathodic comes from cathode. So it should be removed from the boiler tubes for better heat transfer. Soot should be soot should be removed from tubes from boiler tubes for better heat transfer. <clears throat> And tip and sprayer plate atomizers require fuel pressures of 100 PSI or higher for atomization. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's 250 PSI uh, or higher for atomization. Both plug and tip sprayer plate atomizers require fuel oil pressure of 250 PSI or higher for atomization. <clears throat> a diffuser located at the end of a burner assembly is used to help mix air and fuel. A diffuser is located at the end of a burner assembly and is used to help mix air and fuel. The underground storage tank is a tank and any underground piping connected to the tank that has at least 10% of its combined volume underground. Uh, underground storage tank is also known as UST. A large pressure drop across a strainer indicates that the strainer is dirty. The section 7-2 natural gas systems. The purpose of a low gas pressure switch 
is to prevent the gas system from operating when the gas pressure is too low. A gas pressure regulator consists of a diaphragm connected to a globe valve with an opposing adjustable spring. A gas pressure regulator consists of a diaphragm connected to a globe valve with a opposing adjustable spring. Fluid powered gas valves are slow opening fast closing valves that use a Fluid powered valves are slow opening, fast closing valves that use a compound pressure gauge. No, they use a rotary cup. A blank has a rotating impeller and a housing that throws the air to its outer edge. A squirrel cage blower. Cool blower has a rotating impeller and a housing that throws the air to its outer edge. A centrifugal blower. By adjusting the spring tension, a gas burnt pressure regulator can be used to change the gas pressure at the burner. By adjusting the spring tension, a gas pressure regulator can be used to change the gas pressure at the burner. In a gas burner, a register is a formed sheet metal plate with slots where the metal is bent on an angle. In a gas burner, a register is a formed sheet metal plate with slots where the metal is bent on an angle. Manual reset valve is a solenoid valve that remains open as long as the electrical coil is energized. A manual reset valve is a solenoid valve that remains open as long as the electrical coil is energized. A butterfly gas valve controls the volume of gas going to a burner. A butterfly gas valve controls the volume of gas going to a burner. Moving along to coal systems in combustion equipment. When using pulverized coal, a boiler must have a negative pressure in the furnace. When using pulverized coal, a boiler must have a negative pressure in the furnace. Pulverized coal is normally burned in suspension. A fluidized bed, a pulverized coal is normally burned in suspension. A fluidized bed boiler can burn coal with a high sulfur content without requiring expensive flue gas treatment. A fluidized bed boiler can burn coal with a high sulfur content without requiring expensive flue gas treatment. A spreader stoker feeds coal into a boiler in suspension and on a grate. A spreader stoker feeds coal into a boiler in suspension and on a grate. Clinker is non-combustible non components of coal that melt and fuse together during combustion. Clinker is non-combustible components of coal that melt and fuse together during combustion. Fly ash is relatively small ash particles that are light enough to be suspended in a combustible gas stream and carried through a boiler. Fly ash 
is a relatively small ash, particles that are light enough to be suspended in a combustible gas stream and carried through a boiler. Coal is burned in suspension and requires a furnace temperature of approximately 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit to achieve complete combustion. Coal burned in suspension and requires a furnace temperature. Coal is burned in suspension and requires a furnace temperature of approximately 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit to achieve complete combustion. Spreader stokers operate with a very thin fuel bed. Spreader stokers operate with a very thin fuel bed. Moving right along, high pressure boiler combustion equipment. We're gonna knock chapter seven out, even though we're at 11 minutes. A fuel oil burner that sends steam and pressurized fuel oil through a nozzle into the furnace where the vaporized fuel mixes with the air and is ignited is a air atom no is a steam it sends steam that's a steam atomizing burner a fuel oil burner fuel oil burner that sends compressed air and pressurized fuel oil through a nozzle into the furnace where the vaporized fuel mixes with air and is ignited is a air atomizing burner. A device used to remove soot deposit from around tubes and permit better heat transfer in the boiler is known as a soot blower. Coal that is ground into a fine powder and is then blown into the combustion chamber where it is burned in suspension is known as pulverized coal and a mechanical device used for feeding coal into a boiler is known as a stoker boilers use air blowers to move combustion air through the furnace brake horsepower is the actual output of an engine or motor the brake horsepower delivered by an air blower can be calculated Soot blowers can be used to remove soot buildup from boiler heat transfer surfaces. Some designs of soot blowers use compressed air to blow the soot off the tubes. Air leaks in a soot blower can occur when a fitting or connector is loose or fits per poorly and can be very expensive. The cost of leaks can be calculated. And that's a wrap on chapter seven. This is for educational and artistic purpose only. Um, please like, subscribe, share, and feel free to support. I will list my Ethereum address in the uh, video description below. Leave any comments on future um, topics that you might like me to cover. Have a positive and productive day tomorrow.